my god, it's loaded in here right now. All right, finally packed up, ready to go. It is December 23rd, 2016. Heading out for early ice. Again, look for some crappy. There's some ice out there. Headed out earlier on um, this week for some walleye. There was some uh, sufficient amount of ice, but there's not ice everywhere. Headed out earlier on um, this week for some walleye. For some walleye. Walleye. Bunch of people already. and then about an inch and a half of uh, white stuff on top. Perch. A little wine. I already had two. This one's another, this one's probably what? 13, 14 inches. Let this guy go. See if I catch a bigger one. Cut those two earlier. And um, the action wasn't that great. So I'm gonna head out and try to find some crappy here today. Promise you some crappy. Um, it's 5 536 right now. Gonna call Anthony. See if he's up and about yet. Cause we were supposed to meet at five. Hey. Yo, you up? Uh, yeah, I'm about to leave soon. Okay, I'm in the car already. Uh, where am I meeting you? Okay, sounds good. Okay, see you soon. Bye bye. Oh, bye. Oh, oh, yeah, actually, yeah, bye. Let go! First crappy trap of the year, yeah! Uh, we're a little bit behind on schedule, but we'll be out there soon. Easy angling. Hello, Leo. <laughs> Please don't use that. <laughs> totally gonna use that. Eskimo redneck chisel. <laughs> All right, first trip of the year for uh, Mr. AC Angling over there. Letting the brave go first. Checking the ice, safety. Making sure it's uh, thick enough. Is it thick enough, Mr. Anthony? Sorry. <laughs> yeah, that's all white shaking stuff on top. It's all white shaking stuff. No, the bottom. The bottom. Two, three. You see it? Oh yeah, there is. <laughs> what? 
There are some there are some like spots that take like four or five hits and there's others that take like two. Wow, I feel it. It's just like Yeah, because it's literally just like two hits. Like one and a half hits and it's like two. Yeah, it's recording. What you wanna go? No, don't fucking jump man. Now, then later over there. Hold on, hold on. Can you like, you need a guy? Right? I think it's fine. I feel it. It's probably like an inch of like uh, oscillation. Okay, we've made it to our spot. We're gonna drill holes everywhere. Uh, drop the sonar down. Let's see if we catch some fish. That's not bad. What? That was quite a bit of ice. Did we mark anything? No, not yet. I had a hit. It was so. St it might not be crappy. It might not be. It was from. It was coming from bottom. And it was a very, very tiny hit. I already have a very small jig as is. 13 feet here. Oh, it's still on bottom. Another one came. Here we go. Pumpkin seed. <laughs> oh, what is that? What is that? Is that a bass? It is a bass. I thought it was a big crappy. I thought so too. I was like, oh my god, this is a fucking 16. <laughs> Disappointed. It looks like you're getting more fish over here, so I'm gonna move too then. Dude, it's stacked here, man. Yeah, these are all crappy, eh? These suspended ones. Oh my god, it's loaded in here right now. Sorry? I think the emo over here. I'm full right now. My bottom of my screen's full. Yo, come drill some holes over here. Got a decent one here. Yes! My screen is full of fish. There's my lure dropping. All right. Let's get that closer. Lure dropping. Oh, there's a fish coming, coming, coming. Yes! There we go. It's a school of crappy down there right now. It's gonna be a crappy? Yep, it's another crappy. This guy's small. This at least that one. Okay, let's drop down. Oh, actually, there's one right there. Oh, I already took it. Crud. It's another fair size. Nice. 
Okay. Oh, this is just this is a VMC Rapala tug bug with a bit of a trigger X soft plastic on there. Oh, it's digging it. There we go. There we go. That one's gonna commit. Come on. It. Still around, still around. Come back, come back, come back, come back. Yes. It's not too bad. School's still around. Oh, there's another one, there's another one. Tail bit me. <laughs> yes! Oh, fall. Come on, come on. Yes! Saw my line go slack, so then uh, I knew the fish came up and ate it. Yeah, it's another decent one. It's okay. Not too bad. Look, you see? It's all the way in there because it came up, took it. And that's why I slack lines. So I had to set the hook. Totally gobbled it up. Oh, this is the best choice ever to come over here. <laughs> Yo, yeah, I'm, I'm non-stop. I'm not actually fish out the fish out the fish. You should move. Yeah! Uh, two, four, six, eight. Yeah, it's non-stop. Once I reel up, it's a fish. Since I started recording 12 minutes, I got to eat fish. <laughs> I need to get more cameras. The action's too good right now. Okay, go away. This one's kind of small, this one I'll throw back in. But seriously, oh my! Oh boy. Party mix cause it's a party. This one inhaled it pretty deep. Took uh, my set. Little buck shot with a rattle. And I tipped it with a little egg thingy. It was set there probably 15 off of bottom. We're right now in what, 25, 30 feet of water? We're both catching fish, we're both happy. Should we go chase the school, see where it went? That rod retails what, like 150? Well, 80, 90 bucks, I think. Oh. Would you pay that much for it? No, oh, I'd buy it with you. I know, but would you pay the full retail, I'm saying? Is it worth that full retail price? I, I like it. Enough to pay that much? Depends. If I take more crappy fishing, then perhaps. But I don't, right? It's only like first ice. A I few fish. Like, huh? This is like the deepest part right here. Was oh, it? Inside there is deeper? Well, it's like, that is like 30, 31 over there. This is 32. 
You're at 32? 32. That one over there to the right is. Oh, uh, I don't remember. 25? Yeah, so it looks like it goes this way. And this is like the main basin, right? Right here. I would have thought it would be over there, but okay. You're looking at the. the, the Geography. Yeah. Okay, since the action died down a little bit, uh, I just want to talk about what I was using that caught most of my fish just now. Um, is this VMC Pug Bug? I got it from sale. And then uh, I tip it with a bit of this Trigger X wax tail thing. Uh, majority of my fish came on that. Uh, Pretty much actually, all of them came on that. So it looks something like that. We're in about 32 feet of water. Looking for suspended fish. Um, most of them are hanging slightly off bottom and uh, they're just smashing our doors like you saw earlier in the sonar footage. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to move shortly because the uh, school moved, so uh, we're gonna go look for them. That's hot, that's hot, that's hot. Ah, pizza, so good. You know why? Put it on the heater with some tin foil. Boom. Hot food. This was my dinner last night. Some leftovers. Oh yeah, this one feels all right. And it is all right. <clears throat> Jeez, I didn't feel that fish. It's a jumper, it's a jumper. <sighs> Double header, double header. Double header! Mine's prettier. I'm prettier. <laughs> so it's kind of dead on my end now. Oh, time to move. And the fish is gone. <sighs> All right, so we're done eating. Um, the fish has moved away from this spot. Um, we're looking for suspended crappie, so a very important thing to do is you gotta stay on the move and look for them. They don't always stay in one spot, so we gotta chase them around now. Uh, on to the next spot.
sorry I can't wrap it up here. It's about uh, four in the afternoon. When we found the fish, it was pretty productive at that one spot and they dispersed and ran, ran around. We couldn't find them. We caught one or two out of each hole. It wasn't too many. Um, anyways, let's talk about the setup. Uh, so once again, I used a little pug bug with a little piece of plastic on the end. This here is a Premier, uh, St. Croix Premier Ultralight. Uh, with some four pound mono. This is the Frabo straight line reel that I just pulled up last night. Um, I also used another ultralight rod and reel as well. Uh, we're in about 30, 25 to 30 feet of water. The fish were suspended and also some came off the bottom. Um, the ice is mostly probably like four inches of the white crusty bad stuff maybe an inch or two of the black ice uh, the good solid stuff so it's not exactly safe yet um, some spots we're going with the spud and it went through after a couple shots so it's definitely not safe yet um, if you're not comfortable on the ice um, I suggest you not to head out um, uh, the winds are about 15 to 20 climber winds uh, with a little bit of like gust at 30 I think it was and um, I guess that's about it. Mm -hmm.